Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Purdue Boilermakers. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset City if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Boilermakers should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, don't let their big men become a factor offensively. Keep them off the block, push them away from the low box, and force them to shoot jump shots. Second of all, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. And finally, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Turns it over. Swatted out of there, block shot. The point guard takes the pass. He'll regroup the offense. Great anticipation defensively. Here they come now on a turnover. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's a double team from way out. He hits it. Fed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and now with a power move. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. There he is, strips the ball loose. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. From three-point territory, makes the shot. There it is again. And the ball goes out of play. Dipsy do Doug Peru. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. The point guard gets the ball. Inside. Gave it up. The small forward takes the feed. Launches the three. That's an eight zip run. And a momentary look from three point land. Sinks it. Stolen away. It's a fast break possibility. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Up and inside. On the inside. Looking for the foul. He takes the rebound. Inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Trying to pack it inside. He goes with a baby hook. 
Nick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Nice fake. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He fouled him. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post flashes for the opportunity. The ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Outside jumper. That was nice. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Adams is eager and excited to compete. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The center gets the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. The small forward with the ball. Fake. They're working around the arc. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. And now they'll bring it up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. We'll get another look at it. This is great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. They still don't score. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The frustration right there. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Picked off. the shot. He drains the shot. They scored 11 in a row. Let's get back to the action. How's he working in defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Puts it up. He drains the bucket. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. 
Gave it up. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. The Boilermakers will step to the line for the first time. Need to make that. He puts it up. The Golden Gophers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. I tell you, a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. For the bucket. And he missed. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Unloads a three. He gets the bucket to fall. Dump it inside. And the fans here are loving the action. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats it to the spot. Dribble gives it up, tries for two, perfectly executed. For two, doesn't go. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Aaron. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Get that sucker out of the game, man. With authority. Working it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Some people say whether home or away, the home court team always has the advantage. What do you think, Nick? Well, the crowd will have to be behind their team for the entire game. They can and should make the difference. Robs him of the ball. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Nick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He hammers it home. Entry pass in the paint. Pushing that basketball. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Gave it up, picks off the pass. They move it into the front court. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Nick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. They work the perimeter. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He launches the bomb. Sinks the shot. That's a 9 nothing run. Takes the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Golden Gophers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. And it's good. Gave it up. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. it up intercepted jumps in Purdue are on a run right here as of late Nick yeah they've started to put it together on offense can they keep it together though that is the question double team now bad angle they strip him in a basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there baby I tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box and the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Down low, there's a drop step and off, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball, and they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There was no doubt about that one. you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Takes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it there. Oh, I tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively. He gambled. Now they work it around the perimeter. Controlling the ball. Got a nice screen. The fake. Gets the rejection. Take a look right here. There it is. Says, get it out of here. Thou shalt not enter thy land. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Now work it around the arc. High post screen. So effective that screen. Oh. Entry 
Great pass in the paint. He looks at the hoop. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. And right in the circle. He hits the shot. Let's take a second look. Side and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Now the turnaround jump off the rim and no good. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And the fans are going wild. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious rough with their shooting, Brad. Goes up for two. And in and out. They're trying to make a statement. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First one is good. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Moving it around the perimeter. He takes the shot. He gets it to fall. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He strokes it. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from the arc, baby. He intercepts it. Gave it up. They work the perimeter. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the first. Go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Kicks off the lazy pass. Long down court pass. Stolen away. Here they go into the break for the bucket. Up, easy one. For one opportunity. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on the defensive. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's got an open look for the shot. He 
shoots from right of the circle. He nails the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Dickey Sibley on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. At halftime, the Golden Gophers are trailing by 26. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Purdue is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad. This kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the lock. Patience and poise usually equals points. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. from the low post. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. And the slam. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Hammers it down. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, it was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. And he tries to spin away. Gets a hand in the way. Fakes it. Good fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Look at that spacing. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. The Boilermakers lead by 26. They're working around the perimeter on the inside, looking for contact. Takes away the pass. The circle they work it around the perimeter. With the fake, they work it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And a momentary look from three-point land. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work. 
work it around the arc. Shoots it. Way off target. That's a great response by this crowd. What a response. What enthusiasm. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. He misses his second shot. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration in that possession, Brad. Giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twenty, though. He is going to the line. Good. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. There's a double team waiting there. Tries one from three-point land. He makes the shot. Gave it up. There's a high screen. He throws up the shot. He's money with the shot. They still don't score. Another turnover. We're not talking out for turnovers either. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He takes the shot from the baseline. Got it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked off. They work the perimeter. The center takes the feed. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to bat. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Leans in. The lane. Easy basket. We're aware as the D here, baby. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He's got some room. He looks for the bomb. It's good.
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive play around, and that's how he's winning that battle. Entry pass in the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as expected, the favorite has led the way through most of this one, and that's what happens when you have the makeup of a great team. Oh, what a strip, Brad. High post flashes for the ball handler. Goes for the deep one. Makes it. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Shoots from outside. Tickles a twine. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Momentary look from three-point land. Up and in. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Number 14 with the fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Foul charge. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He tries a jump hook. The Golden Gophers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Way off target. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Golden Gophers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Work it around the arc. Steals a pass. <laughs> Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the angle. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Picked out of the air. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He shoots from right of the circle. 
He gets the bucket. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. They look like they're having a blast. Coming inside. For two, perfectly executed. He goes for three. Great shot. up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That's basic. Unloads. He nails the bucket. Takes the pass in the paint. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The defense is taking a beating. Back to the drawing board, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. Fast break possibility coming. Tries for two. Drains it. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. in front to take it away. Launches away. Scorches the net. for three. He hits it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Drains the shot. For two. baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He's got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Arm and 
Griffin. The senior leader drops it in for the score and gets the foul. He's playing the way they taught him how to play, baby. Good teams will get to the line with them, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. They're working around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Hard foul. Oh, and look at the crowd. And look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. With the freebie. He hits the first shot. get the opponent in foul trouble. And working around the perimeter. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Look at him, Dick, he's trying to puff up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays, and boy, do they have the momentum now. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He steps up to the line. He makes the first. Second one is no good. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries for two. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Up and inside. Got the shot if he wants it. 
10 seconds to put it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Makes the shot. Didn't look that good, but we expected they'd do this, and they did, and came out with a win. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the rock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Purdue simply blew this team away tonight. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.